Thanks for joining us for the Long Island Sound Podcast. Each week we explore new music and dive deeper with the artists and their stories behind the music. Please subscribe and rate and review us wherever you stream this podcast. Here's your host, Steve Yusko. You're in store for a great catch-up interview with the fabulous Kelly Baker. I interviewed Kelly about a year ago, early in the podcast. And at that time, I said she was rising like a phoenix. And man, was I right. She's doing really well, gigging all over the place, across the country. And uh, we had a nice catch-up on two of the songs that she uh, introduced. One is called Dr. Feel Good. And we're going to hear that next. And I'll leave the rest to the interview. Check it out.
and taking care of his aims. It's really this man's game. And after one bit's air from Dr. Feelgood, you'll understand why it's his name. Everybody, I am so excited. I can't believe it's been a year since I found Kelly Baker and was able to interview her. And I think I referred to you, Kelly, as the rising of the Phoenix because of your Arizona roots. So welcome back to the Long Island Sound podcast. So good to see you and talk to you. Thank you for having me. Sure. So you got, man, you got a lot going. I mean, I've been following your social media. And by the way, I think you do a great job. Uh, it's a great example for me on how to do it, although I don't have your looks or your talent, so it's a little harder for me, you know, being, <laughs> being an old man. But you've been you've been back to Arizona, you've been to Minnesota, you've been at the bitter end, you were out at the Montauk Festival. Uh, where are you going next? Where you know? So we're um, I have a couple big things in the works. Um, next this upcoming weekend, we're actually going down to the Carolinas, so we're going to be. Uh, doing a festival in Bluffton, South Carolina on Friday. And right. we're doing North Carolina on Saturday and Sunday. That's just a short run. Then when we'll be back, I'll be back on the island to do some private stuff um, over the weekend. And then I'm playing Brooklyn the following Monday. I'm here for a couple of weeks. And then I go out on a larger tour starting in Arizona and then working all the way back across the country. Wow. Hopefully the... Uh... The temperatures start to decrease because they were real. They're really baking. No pun intended. Yeah, Baker. I know. I know. At least you know that's where I'm from. So, uh, so it's, it's still still got the thin it's blood. Not a so shock. yeah, it's not bad. So where where are you playing in North Carolina? What part of North Carolina? Uh, we're playing in Charlotte and we're playing in Raleigh. Wonderful. That's great. Yeah, I interviewed a guy from Long Island who's down in Lake Norman. A guy mm-hmm. named Walter Finley. Great guy, Walter Finley in, in April Dawn. And uh, yeah. And then you also introduced me to Brother Dave, who's yes. in, who's introduced me to other people. And it's been it's been really, really, really great. Um, so I gotta ask you this. A year's gone by, at least since we Hold spoke. Up, dog's barking. That's right. Sorry. That's part that's that's keeping it real. They, <laughs> he wants to be on the podcast. I get it. Yeah, yeah. So what what surprised you this past year career wise uh how things have going for you Um sorry my daughter's walking in Um oh say hello know, she she can pop on it's okay no, it's a family thing Um I probably would be you know when we went to the IBC in Memphis and that was in January that um combined with the National Women in Blues showcase that was something that really just um, took us, I would say, to the next level. Nice. You know, yeah. the performances from there and the the friendships that we made there and the connections that we made there um, definitely just catapulted us. And since then, it's been just a nonstop train. Oh, that's great. And I think that was part of the uh, Long Island Blues Society. That's I remember, right. Yeah, I remember seeing you play at um, the Amity, uh, Amityville Warehouse Yes. And and it was a really nice group, a uh, great group of people. I met Pamela Betty uh, there yeah. and my friend Stephen Beery, who I went to <laughs> I went to Boy Scouts with, if you can believe that. He was he uh-huh. was like my big brother protecting little Stevie in, in Troop 159. But, yeah, what a great what a great group and what a great way to help showcase your talent. Uh, you know, and I think you went out with it. Somebody else out went out with you, right? There were two people who you won, right? Um, Recognition. Yeah, Tal, Tal Nacarado. Um, he was, the, you know, they have a solo duo category and then they have the band category. Great, and great. Tal was, ha- he was playing solo. Have you, have you been to Memphis before? I had not. I'd been to Tennessee and I'd been to Nashville a few times, but mm-hmm. that was my first time in Memphis. I, even though I'm not competing this year. I'm going to go down for the, uh, for the showcase and not for the showcase. I'm going to go down for the IBC anyway. Cause I just, I loved it so much. I'm definitely going to be there anyway. Yeah. For, for anyone who's listening, I've, I had a boss in, in, uh, 
in Memphis, actually Germantown, outside of Memphis. And Beale Street is really a great place. It's a great tourist area. And there's music like every 10 feet you go, you know, uh, open air. Uh, you know, they open the doors and you can just go from place to place. And B.B. Uh, King's is down there, another great place to uh, hear music. But I'm kind of ch chatting too much. Tell me about the single you're, you just released and the one that you're going to release. Uh, so and then we'll we take. Yeah. Our first one, uh, we just released on June 2nd. That was Dr. Feel Good, Love is a Serious Business. That's actually an Aretha Franklin song. But it's a, it just goes over so well at our shows that it we felt like we had to record it. Um, and that actually gets, got some really good airplay. And we landed, uh, we took the number one spot um, in the number one blues rock single on the Roots Music Report. We did uh, number two blues songs uh, in general on the Roots Music Report. So those are all reporting, you know, music stations for blues. And um, yeah, that's been great. We've been very fortunate. And our next one is Wicked Way Down, and that comes out July 28th. Wonderful. So uh, this should be airing around the same time. Uh, so, um, but I just want to say one thing, and I've, I've, I've observed this too. What's great about the fact that you're you're playing so much out and gigging out is you get that incubator of audience feedback when you play a song and right. when it hits when it hits them uh you know it's it's going to do well for you and 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 give you the kind of exposure you really really deserve you know um so tell us about uh the song uh wicked and um how it came about i want the audience to hear it and then we'll we'll re regroup right after we hear the song Okay. Yeah. Wicked Way Down. It's just, uh, you know, my writing style has changed. This one I wrote instrumentally first. And okay. then I was just, you know, I had like pieces, like I always do pieces of verses and things like that, that I kind of put together. This one, I guess, is based on, you know, if you, the different ways you can take to, to get where you need to be, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, we recorded this at Voodoo Studios as well as Dr. Feelgood in Port Jefferson with Mike Watts. And I'm um, very happy with how it turned out. There's a really cool um, ending part to it where everything's kind of like meshing around. And it's, um, it's a, I like, I like to be a little more rock than just blues. Like the blues thing has been uh, great. And I love the blues world, but I love the rock edge also. That's why I really mm -hmm. like that studio because they're a rock studio. And okay. I, have that, I like that grit. And so that definitely came through in the recording and the mixing. Yeah, you know what it is when I, I think when you don't um, kind of narrow the definition of the genre where you play and expand out, that really kind of broadens out the audience and the people say, hey, I really like uh, what you do. And I hate to pin anybody down to a genre. It happens. You know, people like to categorize. But, yeah, throwing the, the rock um, aspect and, and, and uh, seasoning into it is, is really kind of cool. Hey, let's do this. Let's jump right into it. Let's listen to the song, and then when we come back to the song, I've got a few more questions, and uh, i like to know what's going on. So what's the name of the song? Give it to me again and introduce it for our audience, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, this is Wicked Way Down by Kelly Baker and releases July 28th. All right. Check it out, everyone. Mercy on the wicked way down 
I interview this is my first animal on the show so, uh, <laughs> keep it hey everybody we're back with kelly baker and we're keeping it real we've got a special guest with kelly today <laughs> and and kelly kelly who's our special guest this is maggie maggie hey maggie how are you i want to call I'm her gonna... margaret being formal yeah <laughs> oh look at that right in the camera excellent <laughs> Now, if if you if you make her sing for us, I'm really going to flip out. But uh, <laughs> anyway, great song. It was really really good to hear this. I love the fact that you know, bam bam, you 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 introduced a song in June, and here we are in uh, July, and you're you're pumping out more music, and uh, I think it's really wonderful. Hey, can you tell me who's in your band? Let's give a shout out to those who support you on the road there. So my bass player is Matt Hoyer. Okay. And- my drummer is Andy Dwork, and my lead guitar player is Rich Fitchlensky. And on that track, um, I have Bobby Sarnowski actually as well. He's on keys. So uh, my band, I have a couple people that I bring in depending on what the venue calls for. Sometimes sure. I have Jack Gordon come in on saxophone, but the core is the four the four pieces. Nice, and they tour with you as well. They they continue the out on the road with you. Band, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Are you are you like touring more than you ever toured before? That's the feeling I get when I when I look at yes. your, your this Instagram. Is our, um, yes. <laughs> it's almost I can't even believe that it's uh that it's happening, honestly. Um this upcoming one in August, that's gonna be the biggest run I've ever done. That's gonna be um about a month and a half. So wow. so, so you you'll be a true road warrior. Uh, out yeah, there, I'm a little nervous, but it's okay. You know, like what? What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. 
Yeah, right. Exactly. But you know what? I used to travel in business and, and after a while it, you get kind of used to it, you know, you yeah. get into a routine and if you know how to travel well with all the things that can change um, mm-hmm. and just kind of roll with the punches, uh, you know, that that's what you do. Hey, tell yeah. us about the different social media. Give us uh, your website and that sort of thing so everyone can follow you. And uh, and we'll look, by the way, in the description uh, for those who are seeing this on video or the audio podcast, you're going to have all the links to uh, Kelly's uh, music and her website and Instagram. But just uh, – Let's give a verbal shout out of what you what you got out there because I can't keep track anymore. So my website is kellybaker.com. It's Kelly with an I. And I keep it consistent on every other social media platform. Um, so Instagram, I have a Facebook music page, TikTok, Twitter, everything is Kelly Baker Music. It's universal the same. So it's YouTube, same thing, Kelly Baker Music. Right, um, right. If you go to like Spotify or Apple, it's Kelly Baker because that's my artist name. But um, any kind of social media, it's always going to be Kelly Baker Music. That new Threads app, I parked it, but I haven't really put anything on there. I just keep it consistent so everybody can find me. Makes yeah, it easy. exactly. I mean, there's so there's so much. I, I'm I'm like a, a social media hound trying to figure out what the secret sauce is to uh, get more exposure out there, and it's a lot of fun. But there's so much to learn. It's just amazing. So yeah. Um, I even use LinkedIn to get exposure yeah. and that, that seems to be working and that's, it's just a different way to approach it. Um, but anyway, you're, you're a rising star. Absolutely. Well, I, th- I think your star is already up there in the, in the, in the uh, stratosphere. So I'm so, I really, I really am happy for you uh, and seeing everything that you're doing. Everybody, you got to see Kelly Baker live. Um, you'll listen to her music, but I mean, you are a true entertainer, Kelly. And I really enjoyed every time that I've seen you out and about, and I hope to see you, uh, when you come, when you circle back to New York after your your long trip, that'd be great. Yeah, we have a great show coming up October twenty seventh at the Cutting Room, which will be nice for the full band. Yeah. Oh, excellent, excellent. Yeah. All right, well, we'll definitely share that on gigdestiny.com, uh, my social media. And Kelly, thanks so much for on short notice uh, hooking up with us on uh, on the Long Island Sound podcast, and uh, we'll be in touch. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Thanks for having me. All right. Be well. Take care. Thank you for joining us today. I appreciate the time you spent with us. Please subscribe and comment and visit us at gigdestiny.com. Until next time, be generous with your joy, keep your spirits high, and let the music take you on a journey. Be well. Peace. Peace.